Hello. <gasps> Hello, gamers. Let me pull up some moochik. Some moochik. Sheesh. I think this is good. Whoa. Hi, everybody. Let's go to my bedroom, actually. Yeah, let's go to my bedroom. Yeah. Hello. Let's see, everyone's here. That's there. Pog. Pog, pog, pog. Hi, Raven. I hope you had fun over at Noomi Stream. I just got off from playing Fall Guys with Numi, Saikuno, and Sens. Uh, it was a lot of fun, actually. I don't think I've had that much fun playing Fall Guys, like, ever. Um, I didn't realize it could be a fun game. I guess, I guess that's just what happens when you just play for fun and not for copious amounts of money. Cause, uh, yeah, I, I did not, I do not have a competitive spirit. I'm very, very nervous and, and anxious. Give me one second. I think I'm trying to like... Add the heart rate thing back on my Apple Watch. I think that's a thing, right? That's the one. Stromno, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Found it! It was a lot of fun though. Very excited to... I guess, see what other stuff we can do together in the future. I really like playing with Saikuno, Numi, and Sens. It was a... we had good synergy. <sighs> Let me just, um... Our OS dashboard... There we go. My login code? Open. I had to put my eh, I had to put my watch on, cause um, first today. Sorry, I'm still setting up. I am a bit frazzled at the moment. What? Eh. How do I put the watch on? Oh, like this. I keep forgetting. I have really tiny wrists, so it's hard to put it on. Okay, there we go. There it is. Enter code. Um... No. No. Uh-huh. Oh, I can draw on my watch? Uh... One. Click. Done. Oh! I got it! Copy. Now you guys can see my heartbeat. No? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You guys are so cursed. Eh. Maybe it'll show up in a second? Oh, connect. I have to press connect. Did I do it? Network state. Connect. Working now? Oh, there it is! Yay! There's my heart rate. Figured it out. What to play in tonight? Um, I'm gonna... Well, first I'm gonna talk about Conquest, and then I'm gonna play some Elden Ring. Cause, uh, I'm... I'm... My sleep schedule's fucked up. I do got me a protein shake here. I kind of was gonna prepare, but then Numi dragged me into playing Fall Guy, so I didn't take a picture of all the all the gifts I got. I'm not really sure what to do. Maybe I'll maybe I'll I'll show off all the gifts next stream, and then this stream I'll just talk about all the stuff. Hammett? Uh I really don't wanna. 
can't have it. I'm I'm pretty clumsy. I'm scared I'm gonna accidentally show my face. Let's see. Um, no. We're, we're, we're not doing feed cam either. You guys, you guys are scary. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I don't do that. Anyways, um, I did add some new emotes today. Uh, if you have better TTV or B TTV, um, I added, um, five or 15 channel emotes. And then I add added 15 shared emotes. So if you guys have that, you can check it out. It's pretty, it's pretty fun each. Let's see. I don't know if you guys see it. But yeah. Okay, Pog. <laughs> we got hella cursed ones. These are the ones that my server made. Um, I guess just throughout the throughout the months of VTubing this year, um, there's Bannock, where I'm panicking. There's Baupium, which is like Copium, but Bao. There's Bao way too dank, and then I just shatter into a million pieces. There's a couple gifts with it too. And then there's Bao Blankies. It's really cute. I'm just in a comfy, cozy blanket. Um, there's Bao Twerk, where my my butt cheek is twerking. Um, I, don't, I don't have the transparent GIF, but I'll have to upload that later. I have a Bao Wiggly now. So I, I know we had a Bao Wiggly before, but I ran out of gift slots. So I added that back. Um, there's Bao Waku Waku, where I'm drawn as Anya. Uh, there's Blaub, where I'm just Blaub of the sea. Uh, there's Sidbao. Um, actually, Mako drew that for me, and it's super HD for some reason, and I hate it, but I figured you guys would really enjoy that. Um, there's Bao Dance. It's a cute, like, pixel version of me dancing um, with a sailor outfit on. Uh, there's Chad Bao. I, I think Tommy is the one that drew that. Um, there's Bao Peppa, where it's me, but I'm Peppa Pig, and it makes me want to cry. Uh, there's Bao Rage Cry. Tommy, Tommy draws all of the like most cursed emotes of me. And then Yoru made Bao PP, where it's just the it's like it's like the Nodder's Pepe, but then there's like a puddle of pee that grows underneath me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yoru is just here to torment me. And then there's Bao Gage, which is fantastic. Thanks, Smash. I appreciate it. Um, I guess I guess this is what I get for using <laughs> using Numi's Gage all the time. Now me and Numi can match. <laughs> I guess I would have to add it to like my own emotes for people to use it, cause. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I think you can only use like BBTV modes like within each streamer's respected stream. I don't really understand it much yet. And then for shared emotes, uh, I I added some really funny ones that um I've I don't know if I if like I added the ones where if my chat were to spam it, then I would laugh my fucking ass off. Uh, I added Kaka, and it's a GIF. And it's so funny. Uh, I added white people happy. Uh, I added white people sad. <laughs> Kaka! It's so HD. It looks like 60 FPS. I don't know why. Um, I added feels weak man per uh, re the request of Bo. All the white peoples are from Yume. And then I added P Pepe ultra rage because um, I hate Numi's ultra rage emo so much. And now everyone torments it, torments me by using it. So it's just, <laughs> it's, it's just here to continue to 
torment me. I hate it so fucking much. I hate looking at it. Um, there's Sustja. And uh, all of these, like, are kind of... They're, they're, like, animated. It's, it's so HD. Um, I added Sniffa in case I go... <laughs> then you guys can use the Sniffa. Um, I added Feel Strong Man. God damn, they're so HD. Um, I added Dies of Cringe. I added, um, let's see, Actin' Up. Holy shit, Actin' Up is my fucking favorite one. I saw some people using it in Numi's chat and I was dying. It's just Casey Frey with his flexed ass traps and he's rubbing his hands together. I know exactly what video this is from too. It's so good. I'm a genie in a bottle. You gotta rub me the right way. <laughs> ah. It's so good. Um, I added Sturge. I really like Sturge. I use that so much just on my casual Discord. Trade proposal. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I added Pause Champ because uh, it's it's quite often that I force you guys to wait for me for something because you know I'm very I'm very slow. Um, I added Sniffa. Um, I added I added Flushed Wiggle because it just I don't it's so fucking funny I love the the way it wiggles it's so funny flushed wiggle I guess some of them haven't added yet I I noticed that some of them aren't showing up it might be because like I added it to I added it not too long ago like like ten minutes before the stream I guess I guess they'll have to show up in a bit damn it do take a minute I added whale champ it's a it's a beluga whale and it's just it's just doing the pog. I swear I had like a, a bow version of that in my in my server. I actually don't know anymore. Whale champ? Baug champ? Og champ? I can't remember. I could have sworn I had one like that in my server. I don't know what it looks like anymore. In a long time, I think. Uh, can I find it? Probably not. No, it's probably too old. It's too old. Let's see. And I have Modge. And it's funny. <laughs> I added the Super HD one. So it has like an R at the end of it. It's like the, it's like the right version of it. I don't know. Like it's facing right. I don't know. I wish it would show. I don't know why it doesn't show. Smog. But we have the rest of them. So I guess if people want to make ugly ass, <clears throat> like cursed ass emotes, I'll try to add them to the channel emotes. I guess I would have to upgrade to pro though. But we'll see. Will she? Hi, Yuzu. Of course, you, of course that's the first one you use. Goodbye. I love Chad Bow. It makes me happy. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to talk about. Where do I even start? We had, I had such a crazy adventure over at Conquest. Should I play some Filipino music? What, what, what kind of music should I play? What is like... <laughs> Stop using the bow pee pee! Excuse me. I'll listen to some Filipino folk music copyright free. Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys have any? Do you guys have any suggestions? Copyright free. This says copyright free. I have no idea what this pl this track is. You know what? I'm not playing Numi CPR. Just blast the Philippines national anthem. What? 
Who's who was that? Sometimes it looks like you zone out or enter a trance. It's kind of adorable. Yeah, I I um I do that a lot. I'm not a very focused person. <laughs> hmm? Wow, just pause champ. I, I really am pause champ. Sean Wasabi? I love Sean Wasabi. Sean Wasabi. Copyright free music. Will I go to jail? Do I have any playlists? We'll listen to this music. Wait a second. You guys can't hear anything, can you? Output capture. There we go. Like this? Hog. Yay! Did it! Ah! It took a minute, but we got it. Oops. Anywho. I don't know where Pinko went. Ah. Wow, look at all those wigglies. I wish my wiggly would upload already. Okay. So let's see. The Philippines. Um, it's pretty cursed. It was pretty cursed. Uh... I didn't realize my fan base over at the Philippines were... Were that... Were that, um... Creative? Uh... And, uh, very brave as well. Everybody was very, very extroverted and definitely was not afraid to tell me what, uh, they were thinking and what they wanted me to say and what they wanted me to do. Um, yeah. I don't really know where to, where to begin. I'll open those can of worms later, but I guess let's just start from the beginning, huh? Might as well just start from the beginning. Uh, so first... Um, I had a 24-hour flight. It was extremely long. I was not prepared for how long the flight would be. Um, I flew from West Coast to, um, Japan. And I think I was at the... Which airport was it? Um, starts with an H. What is it called? Haneda. Haneda. I went to the Haneda airport. And then when I flew back home, it was the Narita airport. Um... Oh. Ah! Hello, Uto! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, raiders! Wow! I hope you had fun playing Valorant! Ah! I love Uto! Thank you so much for the raid, everybody! Thank you, precious Tenshi! Hello, hello, ten chimps. Hope you guys had fun. Um, I'm just talking about my experience over um, at the Philippines for the convention I was invited to. It's, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Thank you, Otsukare-sama. Thank you, thank you. Where was I at again? Uh, I forgot how to stream. Now that I'm back, I don't remember how to stream anymore. It's so hard to talk. Did you get squirt on at the airport? Yuri, what's wrong with you? Anyways. Just stream five head? Oh, you're right. Damn. I, I should definitely... 
Another one? Maybe it's just late. <laughs> oh, I did use... Oh, you're talking about the bidet. Girl, the way you said that with no context, I was like, uh, Gary Sus? Yeah, I used the bidet at the Haneda airport and um, it was kind of crazy. There's a button to heat your seat. There's a button to like change the angle of the spray and the intensity of the spray. And then I was able to turn like a, like a, a dryer on so it can dry your butt. And it was crazy. What else? There was like there was so much room in the in the bathroom too. Like there was just it was just so convenient. I really wish I could get like a bidet like that, but I think setting it up would be really hard. JP toilets are god tier. That's so true. I wish I wish they were more accessible here in the states. No one washes their ass in America. <laughs> Anyway, let's see. Um, I didn't really do much in Japan because my layover wasn't that long. Actually, I was only able to get like a latte, and then I just went on my next flight straight to the Philippines. And then when I got there, it was pretty late. Um, I got off, and then everyone could speak English, and I was like, oh. What the heck? Everyone, everyone fluently speaks English. I don't think I ever met a single person that didn't know a decent amount of English. I mean, sure there was an accent, but it was, it was definitely f like, like fluent English. It was so crazy. I was like, whoa. I guess everyone learns English at a young age. I bet it's taught in schools. Oh, yeah. I think that was my biggest like culture shock that everybody knew English. And I was like, what? That's so... That's so crazy. Here here in America, it's it's not that often that I meet someone that knows a second language. But like, it seemed to be the case for everybody. Yeah. So after that, um, I got off the plane, I picked up my luggage, and I got picked up by the Conquest staff. Um, What else? I got in this... This, uh... They had rented these cars for us that drove us, like, pretty much everywhere and around. Um, and I saw my first dog gang. I guess there's, there's like, gangs of dogs that just roam around in gangs. <laughs> like, like, packs. Like, wild dog packs. It was kind of crazy. I was like, hey, yo. They're like... They're about to... They're about to stick me up. <laughs> yeah, the strays! They were very cute, though. It was like a dog mafia. They were just like traveling in like, you know, like a pyramid formation. I was like, dang, they, those guys look like, uh, they mean business. <laughs> we got to my hotel and it was really pretty. Um, we stayed near, um, we were in Pasai. It's in Manila. And it's like super duper close to the con. Um, our, ho our hotel was really nice. It was really pretty. Um, but every single day, we woke up and it would be super humid. Like, it would just get 99% humid just overnight. I would turn my air conditioner off for two seconds and then I would feel completely drenched in humidity. I'd never been somewhere so humid and it rained very often too. It rained pretty much every morning. Did you melt? Yes. I... I melted. I turned into Blaub. <laughs> it was so... So humid. And it was super hot too. Like, in the 90s hot. So... It was kind of hard to cool down. Every single day, I just wore... I just... I just couldn't layer any of my clothes. I just knew better than to wear more than one one article of clothing for pants and shirt. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, I would have just died. Not my... It wasn't my favorite weather, per se. 
but it was bearable. I mean, I was able to walk around and uh, we went to this mall. It was a really pretty mall. It was a humongous mall. Um, we met a couple times, me and Scamily. Um, we all went to that, we walked to there because it was so close to our hotel. And it had pretty much all the stores that I would see in like a normal mall in America. Like it was, it reminded me a lot of Mall of America actually. There were so many like stores that I was very shocked to see. Like there was cotton on, there was like Gucci, there were like electronic stores. There was a Asus store and there was uh, tons of clothing stores. Um, and all the clothes were super cute. There was like K-pop stores. Um, and there was like a ton of Asian food too, which I was extremely happy about. There, there was like Korean corn dogs. There were like Japanese egg sandwiches. Um, There's a ton of stuff. Was it the one with the roller coaster in it? Um, I I remember a merry-go-round. I whenever there was a amusement park outside of the mall that was kind of like along the beach that you had to exit the mall and go to. And I saw I saw rides there. We didn't have time to go to the amusement park because like um Atsu and Jake would constantly get asked by people to take pictures with and <laughs> obviously I don't want to take pictures with anybody out in public. So I was like, "Ah, oh, I have to run and hide." Me and me and Saki, we were just running and hiding. We we're like, "No, leave me." Don't, don't, don't recognize me, please. Um, anyways, it's called Mall of Asia. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. Mall of Asia. And, uh, do you guys, do you guys watch Kaheru? Kaheru, she's a Filipino VTuber, the orange. <laughs> the orange. Um, you know that ball that she projected herself onto? Like, she advertised her model on it and, and it was... Like the circle thingy. I saw that. I saw the ball and I immediately recognized it. I was like, oh, that's the one that I saw Kaheru um, advertise on. Yeah, I saw the globe. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And uh, I saw a giant ass IKEA. Apparently, it's the biggest IKEA in Asia. And we passed by it. We didn't go to it, but I saw it and it was freaking huge. Like, goddamn. The globe turned orange. <laughs> it did turn orange. Um, holy crap. I just was not expecting mall to be that big. And it was so pretty. There were tons of Korean stores. And uh, I got to eat like tons of um, like Korean, like not Korean, sorry, Filipino food. Um, there was like a, what do you call them? Like a food section. Not a food, not the food uh, hall, but there was um, like a street that was just restaurants. And because the mall had so many bridges, we had to like cut across the mall, go down a bunch of escalators and then walk into this alleyway. And it was just tons and tons of food. We went to this place called Manas, I think. Man, mana, Manan or something. Manan, Manam. Yes, I, I went to Manam. Yes, that's that's where we had food. Um, and let's see, I had sinigang, um, I had adobo, I had um, uh, I had I had a lot of food. I just can't remember sinigang, adobo. Um, I can't remember. There's so many. Sis oh, yeah, I had sisig. I really really like sisig. Um, I love sushi. It was really, really good. Um, all the food... I, I noticed that in the Philippines, there's a ton of pork foods, right? Like, a lot of foods have pork. Watermelon sinigang... Yeah, yeah! We had the watermelon one. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. I also had... I also tried Halo Halo for the first time. And uh, everyone on Twitter got mad at me because... <laughs> I didn't mix it. I didn't know that's what hollow hollow meant. It literally means to mix. And I just, we just ate everything separately. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't eat it separately, separately. I would just like take a bite of like, I would scoop like one of the scoops of ice cream and then like 
choose a random topping and then I would eat a spoonful of it. And then everyone got triggered. I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, was it yummy though? It was super good. I don't know what kind of corn they use. It was like... I thought it was genius to put corn in it because it's like super sweet and savory. Oh, it was so good. The corn and the jackfruit and the the ube ice cream. I could not get enough of ube. Like anytime I saw any food item that had ube in it, I would just order it. I would just not even look at what's, what else is in it. I'm like, oh, I'll just have the ube da 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 da. You know? I had a ton of ube smoothies. I had a ton of like drinks too. There was like fresh watermelon everywhere. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I feel like I'm gonna get judged. I feel like I'm gonna get judged. But my favorite food was not at the restaurants. My favorite food was at the hotel breakfast. <laughs> because every day... Because it, it tasted like home-cooked food. It tasted like home-cooked food. I, I would always get garlic rice. Um, and then I would get... Uh, like all the random meats that they would have there. What did you eat? I don't know. It was just like... It just reminded me of like what my mom would make. It was like... Pork and fish. I had I had milk fish for breakfast, um, and then uh, what else? I don't know. I just had a ton of different types of meat. There was like this like sausage, and it was kind of sweet. It was very. It was on the sweet side. Uh, yes, I had bangus. I had bangus. What else? Oh, longanisa. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I I recognize these names. I eat, I eat like everything every day. Anytime there was meat in one of the pots, I would just take a scoop of it. <laughs> what? I, am I saying it wrong? Bangus. No? I really liked milkfish. I love really like fatty fish, so... <laughs> oh, I had pandan tea. It was really good. I didn't know that pandan, you could drink it as a tea. Bangus. Bangus, Bangus, Bangas. Okay, now I don't know anymore. Now you guys are confusing me. Uh, okay, now I don't know. Uh, God damn it. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I met June. I met June, my editor. Oh my gosh, it was super funny. Wait, I have to show you guys. I have to show you guys picture. Well, actually, I'll just show you guys pictures tomorrow. I don't feel like preparing pictures. Excuse me. I didn't have time because Numi kidnapped me. I'll show you guys tomorrow, but uh, I took a ton of pictures with everybody. It's gonna take it's gonna take a, a while, so I'll, I'll show you guys tomorrow. But <laughs> um, did you eat leche flan? Yes, I had flan. I had Filipino flan. It's I love flan. I'll, I'll always have flan. Um, I love the what else? Bro, garlic rice. Holy shit! Like, why did I ever have white rice? You know. <laughs> Why did I have white rice my whole life, bro? I, I Garlic rice is so fucking good. It makes my breath smell so bad afterwards, but goddamn. It's so... It's so worth it, bro. It's so good. Did you try your mangoes? Uh, so everybody had a gift basket. The Conquest staff and the hotel staff were so, so, so kind. They prepared us like a giant basket of Filipino um snacks. So I had like... A bunch of like chocolate and um, biscuits and crackers and dried fruits. Um, I had uh, what? It, it's it's like chicharron kind of. And then um, one of my mods actually prepared me a a, a, a snack basket too. Um, it was so so good. I, my favorite thing from that snack basket was the mushroom chicharron. My my mod Bubberino. I don't I don't think they're here, but it was so freaking good. I love mushroom chicharron. I had never had something like that before, and it was barbecue. It was like barbecue flavored or something. God damn, that shit was good as hell. But yeah, the dried mangoes were insane. I I just was so shocked at how fresh they tasted. Because I'm usually not a fan of dried fruits. Um, they kind of... They kind of taste too... Um, too ripe. And 
I don't like that taste, that overripe fruit taste. I don't like it. But when I had it, it, it changed me. I was like, oh shit, this is like the only dried fruit I've ever liked in my whole life. I, bro, I don't even like raisins. And dried mango was so good. The, the brand was called Cebu, I think. It had like that green label and it was in like a green and white package. Yeah, that shit was good. Oh, it's a city. Is it Cebu or Cebu? Cebu Philippine mangoes. Seb Cebu. Oh, okay, okay. Cebu? Cebu? Cebu. Okay, okay. Mama Numi's home city. Oh, <laughs> is that like the accent that Numi has? I, I can't remember. There's like a there's like the name of the accent that she has. P Pisaya or something. Papaya. I have no idea. Bisaya. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one, that one, that one. So of all the Filipino food you tried, what is your favorite and could you eat it forever? Um... Huh. Uh, I would die for garlic rice. Um... And... I don't know what it's called. It's like... It's like deep fried pork. And it tastes almost like 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 chicharron, but it's but it's not. It's it's still like pork meat. Lechon! Yes! That! Lechon! Holy shit! It was it was that! God damn! That shit was good! I had so much of that every time I saw it in the hotel. <laughs> I would eat it and then we ordered it as well um, at Ma Ma Manam, I think. She'd be eating everything, not gonna lie. <laughs> I love Asian food. I will eat literally anything. It would be really hard for me to not like something. The only food like I can think off the top of my head that I don't like is artichoke. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> it was so good. Lechon and pork liempo. What's that? Pork. I'm gonna look that up. Pork liempo. Oh, it looks like, um. Whatchamacallit? I think this is what I had for breakfast. Yeah, I just had like, like pork cooked in like 50 different ways and I just ate all of it. <laughs> That's pretty much what I had. <laughs> um, I had what else did I have? I had like um this like peanut sauce thing. It was like peanut sauce and ox oxtail. I don't know what it is. It's like in this like orange thing. Oh yeah, yeah, kare kare. Yes, I had kare kare and I ate it all. <laughs> no one ate it except me. <laughs> I guess I ate it all. <laughs> that was really good too. I'll just be eating the whole pig. Well, I mean, it's, it's just... That's just what... That's just the majority of the food that was on the menu. I swear. It was really good. Oh, yeah. And then June gave me bibinka. Bibinka? It was really good. I had... Bibinka. It was uh, this like pastry thing with salted egg and cheese and it was in this little like banana leaf and i just ate it all <laughs> have you had heard of spicy ice cream I, I don't think i had spicy ice cream um oh i tried kfc in the philippines and now i'm really fucking sad because uh i will never be able to order that much gravy again in my life um, also, did you know that fast food in the Philippines comes with rice? It comes with like this, this rice and it's in this like parchment paper and it's rolled up in like a little cylinder. And at first I was like, is this a fucking cheeseburger? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this little like wrapped up thing? Like, I didn't order a cheeseburger and then I unwrapped it and it was rice. And I was like, what? And uh, 
when we got KFC ordered, um, cause um, all the all the conquest uh, guests and staff, we were in this lounge area, and they ordered KFC for us. And not only did it come with like food that already had gravy on it, it came with an extra cup of gravy. So then you could eat it with the rice, and like you could dip your chicken in it. And I was like, what the fuck? This is. How did they know? How did they know that I'm a sauce girl? I'm a very saucy girl. I love, I love drenching all of my food in sauce. I know that's like looked down upon here. If like, there's a saying that like, there for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Hi, Scara. Scara, you should have came to Conquest. It was super fun. It was, it was super crazy too. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next year though, right, Tara? <laughs> Bao sauce. God damn, that shit was so good. I loved the um the KFC there. I just I just ate my rice with gravy. I don't know. I don't know if people like that here, but I liked it. <laughs> I gotta go back to Japan first. I've never been to Japan, Skara. You need to you need to smuggle me in, okay? And take me to... What's what's your favorite thing to eat in Japan, Skara? You're a fake weeb? What? I'm a fake weeb! You know any Japanese, Skara? I bet, I bet if I just dropped you off at a train station in Japan, you would just cry. Quirked up streamer with a little bit of swag, busts it down gravy style. Is she goaded with the sauce? What the fuck did you just say, Spoon? Like, what language is that? Doko ticket desu ka? I hate it here. Hi, goodbye. Anyways. <laughs> I hope you have fun in Japan, though, Skara. What was I talking about again? I lost my train. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tried Jollibee for the first time. It was the first time ever I tried Jollibee. Like, I like, like true Jollibee. I, I've had the mango peach pie before, and it, that was uh, so rusting. It was really good. I just, again, all fruit in the Philippines are hella fresh. So it just, it didn't taste like. I feel like when I eat a pie, it just tastes like sad and artificial. And it's mostly syrup, like fruit syrup, and um, it's not like made with fresh fruit. But god damn, that shit was good. I love peach mango pie. I didn't, I didn't like try the other flavors um, because I just was too busy only eating the peach mango one. <laughs> um, I had the spaghetti. I will say the spaghetti is like a little on the sweeter side. I wasn't like prepared for that. I'm very used to salty, savory spaghettis. It was still really good though. I, I ate all that. Um, I think I prefer... I don't know if this is a spicy opinion or not. So don't 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 kill me, okay? But I, I prefer the, the meatloaf over um, chicken joy. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I like burger steak. I really like the burger steak. Cancelled for real. The beef steak? What? As a Filipino- Look! Someone in the chat is Filipino and agrees with me! I thought it was really good! I mean, the chicken's good too. Of course I like chicken joy, but like the first thing I ate like all of was the, was the burger steak. It was good. It was like savory and 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 gravy, and it was big. Well, I liked it. Based opinion, <laughs> I just ate everything. That's all I did in the Philippines. I just ate everything and left. <laughs> there's there's like a food shortage now. I'm sorry. <laughs> what else do I have? Um, I had the spaghetti, of course. I didn't try like. Other things on the menu because um, we always had to order Jollibee. I didn't, um, I, I didn't eat Jollibee when I was at the mall. So if I'm ever near a Jollibee again, I'll have to try more of the menu. Did you try Sisig? Yes, I did. How about Lumpia? I've had Lumpia before. Before I even came to the Philippines, I've had Lumpia. I I sadly missed trying Lumpia with like the legit Lumpia sauce. Did you try Palabok? Yes, I did try Palabok. 
Let me look it up again. Pile of books. That shit. That shit good as fuck, bro. The noodles. Yeah. I usually don't like shrimp, so I didn't eat the shrimp, but I just ate everything else. <laughs> I didn't like the little, the little dried shrimp. I just <laughs> left it there, but I, I like the noodles with the rest of it, though. <laughs> it's good. I'm trying to think of anything else I ate. I just ate, like, everything. And I didn't even... I can't remember the names of it because... It's kind of hard, right? Remembering something in a different language. Too wrong? Too wrong. What's too wrong? Fried banana rolls? Oh, fuck. That sounds so good. No, I didn't try to run. I wish I tried it, though. I, I don't remember being anywhere that had it. My only regret was, like, I wish we kind of went to, like... I wish we had time to sightsee. Um, because we were more so in the city and uh, in that area. Um, and we always had to have security with us. But I would have loved to go to the country or like a little a little outside of the suburbs to, to try like all the fresh fruits because that was my goal. I really wanted to go to like a market and order like just buy a bunch of fruit and just eat it because it's fresh and I never get to have fruit in... And overseas because like by the time it gets here it's not fresh anymore or it's 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 like not as sweet i'm always disappointed when i try asian fruits here in america but i'll i'll, I'll do that next time it was really good though province pasai i was in pasai hmm. what else what else like they always say you're always welcome here <laughs> That joke was so... I hate it here. Everywhere we went, Sens, Sens would l point at a sign that says, you're always welcome here. It was everywhere at the mall. Like every two steps you take, there was a sign above you that said that you're always welcome here. And that was like... <clears throat> that was like they're running... Jake and, and Sens' is running gag the entire trip. Hey man, you're, you're always welcome here, bro. Hey man, it's gonna be okay. You're always welcome here. It was so fucking funny. They're so dumb. <laughs> uh, I learned a, a decent amount of words, I think. Um, I learned salamat, right? That means like live, live a long life, live a. G I can't remember anymore. Salamat, right? You're. <laughs> what does that mean again? Means. What does that mean? I forget. Wait, really? It means thank you? No, -uh, it means like... Okay, now I can't. <laughs> really? It means thank you? I kept saying salamat to say hello to people. I thought it was another greeting. Oh, mabu mabuhai. Mabuhai is live long. Oh, fuck. I mixed it up. Damn. Okay, if I didn't say salamat, then I said... I said... Kamusta. Kamusta is like the thing that I said the majority of the time. I also learned Mabu. Is it Mabuhai? Mabuhai? I can't remember. Mabuhai. Mabuhai. Yeah. Um, I met uh, Anne Yatko, the voice actress of Raiden Shogun, and. Uh, Christian? Christian, uh, pa, 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 Christian, Christian, uh, Banas, yes, yes, Banas, the voice actor for Toma. They're so cute, and they're so sweet. Christian is so cute, I love him, he's so sweet, he gave me this cute little card with his art on it, and he's such a sweetheart, I love him so much, he, uh, just worked really hard every day and always woke up super early. He was like, oh, it was so hard working and he was so nice. He always said hi to me when I ran into him at the in the lobby or something. Are they more taller than you, Bao? Okay. The two tallest people at Conquest were without a doubt Kaede and Christian Banas because they they simply they simply towered over everybody. 
They looked like... They looked like skyscrapers compared to everybody. Uh, they straight up had their own atmosphere. I've never seen a more... Like, it was just jarring at that point. It was... I just never seen... They're so tall against everybody. Hi, Viv! Thank you for the five gifted! Everyone was, like, kind of my height. I was very shocked to see people shorter than me. I, I like, I don't normally see people shorter than me, but there was people shorter than me. I was like, yes! I feel good! You met Mit Mitsukua? I did, I did, I did meet her. I said hello to her. Um, where, who else? Uh, I met her. Um, I met... Uh, Kaede, uh, we were... <laughs> okay, so funny enough, we were... I think we were in the car ride home together. And, um... She was asking, like, what we were here for and what we were doing. It was our first time talking and meeting each other. And I was like, oh, um, I'm, I'm a VTuber. I don't know if you know what VTubers are. She's like, oh, yeah, I know what VTubers are. And, and I showed her my model. She's like, you know, I, I... I I'm interested in VTubing. Like, it looks it looks really fun and cool. You don't have to, like, put on makeup every day. I was like, yeah, that's a big reason why so many people, like, decide to be VTubers. And I was telling her uh, what my username was. I was like, oh, have you heard of, like, Bow the Whale? And she's like, Bow the Whale? Are you in C9? <laughs> no way. She thought I was Vienna. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's my VTuber sister. That's not me, though. I should have just said yes. I think my biggest regret is like not saying yes and pretending that I was. <laughs> Maybe she'd be my friend if I said yes. <laughs> that's that's my that's my I fumbled. I fumbled, bro. I should have just said yes. Cloud whale. <laughs> C9 bow. <laughs> that's so cursed. Yeah, I'm I'm grandmaster. In uh the the riot games. <laughs> Anyways. Uh... Good times. Who else did I meet? Um uh, I ran into Lily and Michael, of course. Um Michael was Michael is very funny. He's he's like just as funny as he is in, in his videos. He just really has like a natural charisma to him and uh it was really it was kind of scary talking to him but uh everyone was really nice and we all played cards together while we were waiting for our next activities um <laughs> uh yeah it was did you talk to vtmc yeah i hung out with vtmc the majority of conquests i love ed we've we've hung out a ton of times um because i've i visited la twice and then um we went to conquest together i love ed um yeah, Michael. Michael is very funny. Lily is an angel. I love her more than words. She's just the sweetest, most hardworking person ever. She literally stayed. Okay, so each each time we had a panel, I think the majority of us went overtime because we really wanted to spend time with everyone that like took the time to see us and talk to us and give us gifts. And um, I went over like about an hour and a half of my panel like pretty much everyone everyone was like super late so so it was sort of just expected but i think lily went like three or four hours overtime for her panel to like her meet and greet so they actually had to like move everybody to like a, a new area just for her to accommodate everybody like and and uh, like that was only the first day too she's She's crazy for that. I don't know how my voice would survive that, but yeah, I mean, I love I love Lily. Her work ethic is like just I I respect it so much. She's an angel. She's truly an angel. Um, yeah. Uh, I hung out with Atsu, uh, Jake. Um, who else was there? Ed, Miss Neko P. Who else was in our group? Ed, Jake, Atsu, Nekopi. I say Ed. Zenz. Saki. Yeah, that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. Okay. 
that's who I hung out with every day. We do, we just like went to the mall together and we had breakfast together. We did everything together, basically. Um. Oh yeah, and then I got invited, uh, sort of, uh, sort of last minute to a panel with uh, Scamily. Um. <laughs> Uh, I was very, very nervous because, um, it was gonna be on a very, very big stage. And, uh, I, I didn't know, I didn't know it was gonna be on a big stage because all of my meet and greeting panels were, like, in a very small closed room, sort of. So, it was, uh, it was so scary. I lost 10 years of my life. I was, I was literally shaking. I was shaking! Um, yeah, uh, oh, it was so scary. I think, um... Sorry, I'm spacing out because I'm hungry and I'm tired, but... I played Fall Guys for so fucking long, goddammit. Uh, uh, what made you guys decide to surprise us in the mean greed of Atsu because that made us happy? Oh, I'll, I'll, okay, remind me about that. I'll go in order. Okay, so, so the first day, my schedule was like this. I had a meet and greet. And then I had a Q&A, and then I had, um... I just gotta be on. That the cosplay, um, judge, judging panel. So, I did Q&As, and everybody was so... Ah! It was so nerve-wracking! It was so scary. There were so many people that came to my meet and greet. Uh, it's, it, you know those rooms where you, like, do presentations in, you know? Like like a business like a business like goes up to the front. There's like a like a board. Yeah, and then you do like a PowerPoint present. Yeah, it was like that. And I was like at a table in the front, and uh, everybody was just like sitting in chairs in front of me and like like 30 rows of chairs. It was so scary. It was kind of small, but uh, there was at least like there was at least like 60 people, like a decent amount of people. And I was like, what the fuck? Why is there so many people? I didn't think that many people would come! And they were and then, and then they came! Oh, it was so scary! Anyways. So people uh, started asking me questions and it was very... Very... I guess like... It was such a happy personal experience for me. Like putting a face to the people that support me. Especially like in the Philippines. Because like, what the fuck? Everybody that came, they, they like referenced... Um, previous streams of mine or like referenced like videos and TikToks. I think there's a guy that played um, a TikTok of me pulling uh who was I pulling? I was pulling someone and I accidentally got Jean. It was the I am Miko, I think. It was my mommy one. That one. It was crazy. Everybody just knew something about like my streams, which to me kind of indicated that hey, this person had to have been a regular of mine. And to me, that was crazy. That was very crazy that there are people in totally different parts of the world and time zones that watch me. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is so crazy. Uh, everyone was super cute and sweet and nice. I think the I think the only thing was like, <laughs> the more nervous everybody was made me more nervous. <laughs> so I tried to like. I tried to be the, the silly, lax person, but inside, I was dying! I was just dying inside. I was just, I was just like, my hands were clammy. I was, I was swallowing a lot because my throat was dry. Yeah, yeah, the nervousness was so infectious. It was so scary. I, I don't, I don't do well in like, in front, in front of a lot of people, but like, it, it helped that Sen was there. It's just like, I have to get over that initial fear, you know, like that, that sort of build up right before the event happens. Oh, that's the worst feeling. But I guess like as we did the Q and A, people got a lot less nervous because people started joking around and and saying jokes and cracking jokes and making fun of me, which I I very much encourage because it just made me feel, you know, at home with you guys. You guys like to do that a lot. Reminds me of home. Isn't that fucked up? Ain't that such a fucked up thing to say? Man, fuck y'all. Anyways. <laughs> um, I can't remember if it, was, if it was the first day or the second day, but there was... No, no, no. There were two definite days. There were two days that somebody was cosplaying new me. Why? Why? Every each day there was somebody dressing up as new me to harass me. And they would like come up and like... <laughs> they would... They would ask 
asked me to... <laughs> they would ask me to hold their leash. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? What is actually wrong with y'all? Numi fans are some of the most unhinged people I've ever met in my life. Who, who goes up to a complete stranger and hands them a leash and asks them to take a picture with them? What's wrong with y'all? Just weird champ. Just weird champ. It was great though, seeing seeing Numi cosplays. It was, uh, <laughs> it, it, it cracked up so bad. <laughs> What are some funny things? Oh yeah, there was, <laughs> there's, there is like a couple of people that like didn't have anything for me to sign, and so they kind of just like scrambled to find some piece of paper or something for me to sign quick. Like some people had me sign their badge or their wristbands, um, just like anything that they could keep. And there was this one guy. <laughs> I remember he he opened his wallet. He was like, I don't have anything for you to sign. I have my graduation picture. <laughs> so I signed I signed the back of his graduation picture. This tiny little like wallet sized picture. And I <laughs> Oh, was that you? Ram, that was you? Oh shit. That shit had me fucking cracking up. My man's really brought me. <laughs> he had the cap and gown and everything. And so I was thinking like, oh yeah, you know, if we really want to, if we really want to, you know, play out this bit, I should take a picture with him as if I'm handing him his diploma, but I'm handing him the picture of him as the, you know, like this autograph. So I like, sh I shook his hand. <laughs> so Sens was on the other side and he crossed his hand so he could shake both of our hands at the same time. And I was like, <laughs> As I was handing him the autograph, it was so fucking funny. Holy shit. That was that was so good. That that truly made my day. Thank you, Ram, for, for coming all that way to see me. You were so nervous, dude. You 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 were based. Thank you. I I cracked up so bad. <laughs> and then there was another person. There's another person that actually handed me a diploma. I'll have to show you guys a picture tomorrow. But they handed me a diploma! They like printed it out on, on this like, you know, the, 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 the wooden, the, the wooden diploma thing. The wooden diploma thing and it was laminated. It was in a plastic folder and it, it was like presenting a, 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 an award to me. I can't remember what it said. Y'all are, Filipino fans were so crazy. Like they prepared so much for the bit. <laughs> it was in a frame. Yeah, it was framed. And it just like awarded me. I think it said something like I'm an official like Filipino now. Like they, I can't remember. It was in it was in like a diploma frame. It wasn't like a plaque. It was like a frame. They just yeah they like adopted me. I I at first thought it was gonna be something really cute and wholesome. Like wow, what if they like bought me like a, a constellation or something? And then I read it. <laughs> I'm an official Swagapino. Sheesh! I swear, Filipino fans are, are so... They're so unhinged. They're so funny. <laughs> um, what else What what else were some of my favorites? Somebody gifted me a model. Oh, shit. I still need to... I still need to contact that girl. Someone gifted me and Sens a chibi, mo a chibi model. I think Sens wasn't done getting rigged. But mine's was it was crazy. I need to I need to pull that model out. Now I have two chibi models. I have like three chibi models. What do I do with all these chibi models? I just gotta stream them at the same time. God damn. Are we are we expecting y'all next time with the whole gang? I hope so. I really want to. If if I were to take anybody, I would. I really want to take Numi and Yuzu and Lily. I think they would have such a good fun time in the Philippines because it was so fun and the food was so good. You know, my VP is high because I'm getting excited talking about it. But mm. yeah, that would be great. Um. What, what, what else? Oh my god, I can't remember who. Because there's so many people. Um, I met, uh, Kichan. I met Kichan. K A. No, no. K I I C H A N V T. K Kichan? 
She w she came to see me. And and I like I heard her voice. I was like, "Are you Keaton?" And she's like, "Yeah, it's me." I was like, "Ah!" And so I just I hugged her. Yes, the singer on TikTok. X Keaton. Yes, on TikTok. I love her. I love her so much. I've been following her ever since we were both like very tiny indies. I'm glad that she's blowing up on TikTok. I love her. Yes, I love her. She's so cute. She came to see me. I gave her a big hug and we took selfies together. Um, we took silly pictures together. I, I love her. Um, yeah, there were so many like VTubers undercover. I met Kiri. Kiri rigged my, you know, my my first chibi model? My, uh, the one with like the cute fat baby bow one. Um, the rigger came to visit me at the meet and greet. So I met Kiri. Uh, K-I-R, K-I-R-R-I. Um, what else? Who else did I meet? I met June, obviously, my editor. I actually, he, he's so, he's so stinky. When, when I, I was super excited to meet June and um, I had him, <laughs> I thought he was gonna show up to the lounge and see me, but he actually waited during my meet and greet to like literally line up and, and take a picture with me. And then as we were gonna take a picture, he, he introduced himself as June. And I didn't hear him. I was like, oh yeah, haha. Ha, ha. <laughs> I literally don't know Walt him. And he was like, hello? <laughs> and then after we took a picture, he's like, bow. I'm like, what? He's like, I'm June. I was like, oh shit. And so I slapped the shit out of him. I fucking sent him into the next week. I slapped the shit out of him. I, I love June. He's such a tall, handsome boy. I love June. Anyways, yeah, that's how I first met him. I slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> I, I don't know walled him, and then I slapped the shit out of him. Which, like, to me, feels like... Just, it's so on brand. It's so on brand. <laughs> ah, I love June, he's so funny. Yeah. What else? Um, yeah, we just, me, me and June, we hung out, talked a lot. I didn't have, to, I wish I had more time with June though, but I was just so... I was just so busy and tired. <laughs> I was so tired. I was so tired, but I love June. He came to visit me every day and we got coffee and I forced him to buy coffee for me. Oh yeah, June, I have to tell them about the um the art the art alley thing. So wait, I'll, I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. Okay, yes, the pillow, the pillow. Man, fuck you guys. My fucking mod Bubberino showed up, was like, hey Bao. I was like, hey, Bubberino, I'm glad you could make it. Because uh, he was one of the people I specifically requested my conquest, um, like, uh, I guess, like, organizer. Uh, Leon, Le 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 what's the word? I can't remember the word. But <laughs> I requested to have him, like, make sure that he was VIP and he could come back and see me anytime. <laughs> he was like, I got you a gift. <laughs> It was, it was, a, it was, it was Noomi's pillow. It was the pillow that, I hate it here. It was the pillow that Noomi made in Photoshop. And he printed it out onto a pillow. And it was so fucking cursed. Everywhere I went, everywhere I went, people were like, what the fuck is that? It looked like nightmare fuel. Excuse me. Here, I'll show you guys a picture. If you guys didn't see it on Twitter, I'll show it to you guys now. It's so fucking cursed. I hate it so much. Um, it's on my desktop. Is it this one? This shit. This shit was not okay. This shit. This shit got me fucked up. Okay. This was the most horrifying discovery I've ever made in my entire life. It even has, it even has like, the, it's like the perfect width too, to fit the crown. I hate it. It was the worst, it was, it was terrible. No me, you bitch. You cursed me with this. Oh yeah, <laughs> someone gave me, do you see that? That Naruto headband on top of my head? Someone gave me a Naruto headband, but instead of the Leaf Village, it has the Filipino flag. I'm, it literally, this is, and, and someone gave me those sprouts too. I got so many cute gifts, but these two were, these two were the, the peak ones, I think. Um. 
I hate. The hidden Filipino village. Goodbye. Don't say that. It's so cursed. Everywhere I went, everybody kept looking at it and saying, what the fuck? And then <laughs> I remember I showed it to Lily and she was like, what is that? I'm like, oh, it was a gift. <laughs> I, of all of my fans, I think... Uh, like at all of the conventions I've been to, I think the Filipinos were the most unhinged, insane ones, which like is kind of great to me because that's sort of that's sort of what I was, uh, I guess that's kind of what I was expecting from people who watch me. Like you just have to have a couple screws loose, and uh, I'm just really glad that uh, the apple fell right down from the tree and onto your heads. You know? Can we make this pillow real merch? Um, Numi can make this happen. We can make this happen. Unfortunately. I don't know when, but... <sighs> I hate it here. You're always welcome here. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Love that. <laughs> ah! You want the story? Oh, right. Um, Trying to think now. Oh, so this is... This was... <laughs> Hi, Atsu! Did you tell them about the do you like... <laughs> oh, yeah! So... <laughs> so, I went to... Me and a couple friends decided to crash Atsu's meet and greet. Um, and uh, me and Saki and our friends... Some of us sat... I think Jake and Sen sat in the, on the tables with Atsu and Nekopi while they were answering questions. And doing their meet and greet and me and Saki we were sitting way in the back way 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 in the back and uh <laughs> I <laughs> I uh rose my hand um because uh it was during the Q&A portion and I was waiting for my me to be chosen and they actually chose me I think the I think whoever was <laughs> hosting the Q&A didn't know that I was like <laughs> I was a guest at Conquest, so they actually picked me. <laughs> and right before that, I was I was talking to Saki. I was like, "Hey, how can I how can I ruin Atsu's meet and greet? <laughs> how can I how can I embarrass him?" Uh, he's she was like, "Man, I don't know. Like, maybe I should ask like a stupid ass question." So I was like, "Saki, like, what's the stupidest question I could possibly ask?" I was actually I was initially going to ask, um, "What color is your underwear?" Um, but then I thought like, oh man, like there, there might be kids here. I don't want to make it weird. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, what, what's a stupider question? What's like the most like Pepega question I could ask? And then I thought, <laughs> I went, <laughs> I went up to the microphone and I was like, I was like, hold on, hold on. I was like, do you like me? <laughs> Do you like me? <laughs> it's such a stupid question. Do you like me? <laughs> and then Atsu, everyone, everyone was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Atsu, he was just straight up like... No, I'm a <laughs> That was so fucking funny, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, they had such a cute, comfy vibe, though. And then I went up and I was like, do you like me? <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Everyone was so cute. <laughs> Dies of cringe. <laughs> yeah, every single day I made Atsu die of cringe. Every time I showed up or, and said anything, I could breathe. And then Atsu would be like, dies of cringe. Not a single time did Atsu lives of base because of me. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, so before my scamily Q&A and the cosplay judging panel, um, I actually snuck out of the, uh, of the lounge for the guests because actually, I actually wasn't allowed to go anywhere without a, sec without security. And I just... I don't know. I just didn't care. <laughs> I just left. <laughs> I'm a V. I was a VTuber. I'm thinking like nobody's gonna recognize me because I'm a VTuber. Like even then, like I feel like I'm not that recognizable. IRL. 
I just looked like a normal, normal swagapino bozo, you know? I just looked like a bozo. I, I was a zero view Andy. And so I snuck out with June. Hey, 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 this is June's fault. This is June's fault. He, he wanted me to, he wanted to go check out Artist Alley. Anyways. So I figured I'd had some downtime. So me and June just snuck out and uh, <laughs> he was like my bodyguard and was showing me around like Artist Alley. And then I noticed like, holy shit, there's so many fucking VTuber like fan art around here. There was like, there was a bunch of like all the, um, other corpo VTubers, and then I saw uh, I saw some Shoto ones, so I was taking pictures of them. I was like, "Show, look, show, look! It's you, it's you! You're in the Philippines!" And then I came up to this one booth, and they were selling these super adorable little like, magnetic bookmarks, and it looks like um they just looked like chibis, right? Like one side was the butt, and then the other side was like the the front and they're just like chibi like flopping little chibi floppos and i saw one of me i i saw one art of me at at anime expo and I, that already shocked me but like i was thinking like you know like that would make sense because i'm i'm i have a big american viewer base but i didn't think i'd have any art in in the philippines so then <laughs> So then I got super excited and I literally pointed at it and I screamed. I was like, June, look, it's me! <laughs> and I I fucking I fucking busted! I busted my identity! I outed myself! I actually I actually threw. Like June was working so hard to be like my bodyguard and protect me. And then I just fucking <laughs> It was, um, yeah, and then, and then, like, people were like, oh my god, are you Bao? I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, uh, so yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not allowed to take pictures with people outside of, outside of my panels, but uh, if we do it really quick, um, it should be okay. <laughs> So I just hurried, we hurried up and bought the, bought the art and left. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, and then on top of that, apparently everyone was waiting for me to start the panel. And I was like a couple minutes late. <laughs> so, uh, they realized I snuck out anyway. <laughs> I'm such a troublemaker. Every single, every single day... Atsu dies of cringe. He's always trying to. He's always trying to find me. He's. Always <laughs> I just. I just require a child leash. I have such bad ADHD. I just. I don't know. Even. Even when the security guard was like following us around and like showing us the venue, um, we had a little time before day one to like. <laughs> To like check out everything i uh was in artist alley and everyone's like my friends are very tall you know so i always am i always end up just like staring at my friends backs because i'm so short and i don't know what happened but i i think i lost track of whoever was in front of me and i started following a random person thinking it was like atsu and jake and everybody else and I just kept following them because I thought it was them. I just, I don't know. It just, it just looked like their backs. And then I turned around and I was like, wait, hello? And I didn't see anybody and I was lost. I was like, oh no. And then, and then I, I turned around a little bit more and I see a bodyguard just like making their way to like continue following me. So I made the poor bodyguard chase me around Artist Alley because I got lost. <laughs> I... I... Yeah. <laughs> so then I saw the bodyguard and I was like... I, I think I'm lost. Do you know where everybody else is? And he's like, okay, just follow me. <laughs> I... I literally was a lost kid in a mom moment. I um I just don't really have good directional sense. I'm good at some things, but not many things, you know? Yeah, my bodyguard was was doing the best. I'm a I'm quite the speedwalker. I might have stubby legs, but 
Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a speed walker. You blink for one second and I'm gone because I got distracted by something. <laughs> All the gaudy, body, gaudy bards. God damn it. Bodyguards were so nice and funny and they were so... I don't know, I just really... I felt very safe with them. They were all super buff, but they were like very funny and like always laughed whenever we like said jokes and stuff. I don't know. They were very... I liked them a lot. I miss... I miss the bodyguards. They were funny. <laughs> Such a bow moment. Bye! Leave me alone! Uh, what else? Oh my god, there was a girl... There was a girl that had me sign, um... So, a lot of the guests were... That came to see me... Um, they were really nervous! So, there were a couple times where, like, they would hand me something and I realized it was backwards and I would, like, fix it for them and then sign it at the correct, like, angle. And there's this girl who... Who gave me this, like, uh... It looked like a stationary book. And I realized that it, I was signing it from the... From the back. And I was like, oh, they, they must be super nervous, you know, like, they... They um, must have accidentally like flipped it on the wrong side. So then I flipped it back to the front so I could sign it. This girl had me sign a death note. <laughs> she killed me. There was an assassin. There was an assassin at my meet and greet. She was like, she was like, no, you weren't supposed to flip it over. I was like, what the hell is this? Were you trying to kill me? And she was like, no, 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 it's not what it looks like, bruh. I actually had an assassin show up at my meet and greet. I was this close to signing it, and then I thought I would be considerate. I thought out of the goodness of my heart, I was gonna be considerate and, and fix it to the right orientation. And it, it ended up being a death note. I almost, I almost assassinated myself. That was messed up, bro. That was messed up. I still signed it though, so I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for her to write like whatever reason I'm gonna die. Cause that's how the death note works, right? Like you write you write your name and then you have to like think of what they look like and then you have to like type put in like the, the date and time and how they're gonna die. She just has to put in the rest of the info and I'm done so, you know? So I'm just I'm just waiting for it. It could be any time. It could be like even even as soon as <coughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, dies from being cringe. What if I actually died of cringe? What if like right now at um, what, what time is it? At eleven ten a.m. July thirty first, I died of cringe. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be pretty on brand, I think. But I mean, even if they didn't, um, I think uh, I do that every day already. So, <laughs> we still have the pillow. I still have that pillow. I took all. I took everything home. I quite literally bought a second luggage suitcase so I could carry all of the gifts that I got home. Because I got a lot. I got snacks and food. It was, yeah. Also, I started eating everything. So, I'm sorry if I don't take pictures of many of the snacks because uh, they're, they're pretty much gone now. <laughs> <sighs> I'm s I love that emote so much. Act acting up. That's such a good emote. So good. <laughs> oh. What else? Um. Have to burp. Oh yeah. So the scamily uh, the scamily cosplay judging. I felt bad because like I I we didn't get much time to like tally up the votes like like well for me anyway. And I just, I kind of only had time to like tell the judge like what was my favorite cosplayer. And I said my favorite cosplayer was this really good Alucard cosplayer. I, I'm just a giant Alucard enjoyer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty much. And afterwards, um, after the cosplay uh, judge panel, we announced like the winner. And then uh, Jake and... I, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, so so Atsu Atsu on stage told everybody that Jake and Ed couldn't come, and uh, everyone was super sad. And we we lied to them. You see, we lied to them and told them that they were getting held up at their uh, meet and greet panel, so they couldn't come. Which is kind of the truth. They were actually supposed to be at the judging 
um, panel for the cosplayers, but they couldn't make it, so they came a little late. But then after that, they came out, and it was it was super duper hype. Scam, scammer Atsu. <laughs> yeah, it was so on brand. And uh, <clears throat> the way that they came on stage, it was so lit and it was so hype. I've never been in in such a high energy uh, situation before. They like. They fucking like backflipped on the stage. They like jumped on stage and like it was crazy. I, I felt like I was on reality TV and uh I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> I felt out of my body. I mean to be fair, that was also like my my anxiety going extremely rampant. I've just never seen that many people like like in front of me staring at me and like people were like calling out my name and trying to get me to say hi to them and I was like, what the fuck? Oh god. Yeah, it was really fun though. And uh, all all of the people that uh, came up on stage to Q&A us, they like, I don't know what it is about like Filipinos, but everybody is such a big extrovert and just and, like was not afraid to say like their opinion and like be hype and happy because like because like I am a very nervous person but like there are people that came up and straight up like stole the host's job like they started hyping up the crowd and like pulling jokes and being charismatic I was like what the hell is in the rice in here bro everybody just suddenly turned into a tv host are these people like planted or something they, they gotta be planted or something there's no way they just like prepared that on the fly <laughs> yeah they were like they were actually swagapinos and they were just so like i don't know just uh, they were just so uh what's the word like uh like like brave i guess man that's crazy oh Alona, thank you very much for the raid! Hi, raiders! Uh, we're just talking about my experience at Conquest. It was pretty fun. We were just talking about how I became an honorary Swagapino. But yeah, it was super duper hype. Um, unfortunately, someone asked me to say... Uh, <laughs> they asked me to say... Um, uh, <laughs> they asked me to say the K word. Uh, uh, and, and then I looked at the host and, and he was like... Shaking his head. I was like, oh shit. I can't say it. They really wanted me to say the K word And then I looked at uh, Jake and I was like, Jake, what do I do? And then, and then Jake was like, just say, just say, just say, uh, uh, I, I, uh, pass And I was like, oh, uh, 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 pass Yeah That's the only question I got that day <laughs> Yes J.F. Foster, you said it in the chat. I'm not gonna say it because I know my ass is gonna get clipped and then I'm gonna never get invited to Conquest again. I can't let them know that I said that. <laughs> I can't let them know. They tried to get, they wanted me to say it and I was like, I mean, I know what word it is. I just don't think this would be a good time. And so, yeah, I decided not to say it. It's a, uh, yeah. I was like, maybe... Maybe, maybe another time. But yeah, that was a hype ass, uh, hype ass Q and A, and uh, I was so scared. The lights were like s just shining on us and blinding me, and I just like saw the sea of people, like huh, literally sea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was that was pretty that was pretty scary. Um, and then the next day, I didn't know this, but apparently I had to be on the same stage again. I thought that uh, because I had a meet and greet and a Q&A in the same room, I thought that my VTuber Q&A with Sens would be in the same room, but it was gonna be on the exact same stage. And it was right after, uh, I think, I think Atsu and Jake and Ed's panel. So like there was already a huge ass crowd and I was like, what the fuck? What? Why? And I was so scared. <sighs> I had to, I had to be like escorted to the stage, and there were bodyguards like surrounding me. So in case like people were being weird, champ, and <laughs> I, I came out, and people were like, "Hi, bow, hi, bow," and I was like, "I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I feel it. I'm passing away. 
I was fading in and out of existence. I had never felt like so lightheaded in my life. It was, it was such a scary, it was so scary. I don't do well in front of crowds. Um, anyways, I got on stage and uh, started answering questions and people were coming out on stage and they were like, they were like crying and meeting me. And I was like, what the fuck? There's no way I have this kind of influence over people. And they were so nice and they gave me gifts and they asked me silly questions. And then, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's see. Who, what else? Uh, there was someone that like... <laughs> um, I don't know. We showed their like Twitch stream on the... On the uh, projector. Because uh, I guess... Um, I was I was calling them out because they were... They wanted to like do VTubing or something. And I was just teasing. But everybody was so sweet. Um, what else? Until... Until I don't know who the hell I land, who the hell I asked. I was just kind of like looking around and picking random people to to ask a question because they got to come on stage and ask me directly. And somebody went on stage and and asked me to bark, and I was like, what the fuck? And then the host was hyping them up too. I was like, no, not you. I trusted you. You're not supposed to be in on this too. And he he started he started hyping everybody up to make me bark, and I was like, oh fuck. Oh shit, I really have to do this shit right now, don't I? And so <laughs> and so I just I just looked into the I just looked straight in the middle of the sea of people and started barking. <laughs> I can't imagine I can't imagine what the normal congoers were thinking when they heard me bark over the fucking intercoms. It was so embarrassing. And I, that wasn't even the end of it. That wasn't in the end of it. After that question, it I think it just triggered people. It triggered people to like, like push the limits of what questions to ask me. So then the next person who came up, holy shit, they asked me what was my favorite, my, my favorite word in Tagalog. And I looked at, <laughs> I looked at the host and I was like, host, host, sir. You already know what's coming. I just don't know if I'm brave enough. And then the and then the host was like, I might lose my job, but I give you permission. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I looked, I looked dead into the <laughs> and I <laughs> I said, put <laughs> And then Everyone started clapping and cheering. There's no way that this was a real experience in my life. Your your accent was on point. Oh, thank you. You saw I sounded like a real Filipino. I that was just the most surreal memory. New core memory. If I if I were to die and cho and could choose one moment to respawn to, like every time, I would respawn to that moment because I, I just I just experienced peak life at that moment. Everyone clapping and cheering and like jumping up and down because I just said motherfucker in, in Tagalog and it was it was great. It was very memorable. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that I didn't I I'm glad that I like saved I, it's kinda like I saved my ult like the first day I was I was kind of like, eh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't say a bad word. And but then the next day, you know, like I had, I had charged up the ult, and and it was, I was ready to go. So. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh yeah, and then uh, what should I call it? Uh, I got a little Shoto macaron. I think it was because the day of that event was the same day as Sho's birthday. And, and somebody made like Sho macarons and gave me some. It was very, very cute. I, there, are, there are definitely Sho fans in the Philippines. It was very cute and wholesome. I loved, I loved my experience. Everybody was so nice. I, I tried to hug as many people as I could, but then like, but then like the uh, audience got a little too crazy and then I had to be ushered off. And I was like, <laughs> sorry, please, no flash photography. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but. <laughs> I'll come to Conquest 2023. I would love to. I would love to. It was just such a great life experience. Um, it was a great way to end my my July. So, 
Very, very awesome. Flushed wiggle. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I hope I can bring more VTuber friends. That would be great. Maybe I'll, I'll like, uh, I'll like slide them a 20 and show them everybody's twitches and stuff. That would be great. Hmm, what else? Um, yeah, I think that was pretty much like all the events that we did. I got a ton of gifts. I got like fan art. I got a fucking chibi model. I got like the, the cursed pillow. I got to show that to Numi. I can't wait for us to hang out again so she can physically see it. I want to take a picture of her with it. It's going to be so fucking funny. <laughs> um, I hope you liked my gift of Filipino. I oh, General Rexus. Yeah, I got art of me wearing like traditional Filipino clothing. I thought that was super duper cute and thoughtful. I was very honored that um, people would draw me in such a such an important important outfit. So it, it was so it was so cute. It was so sweet. Everybody was so welcoming, and I I I just I had really the time of my life. Yeah, I had the Nanai Bao fit. Sheesh. I'm 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 Lola Bao. <laughs> uh, what else? Um yeah, I just had so much art and I was gifted like so many cute like I don't know, stickers of me and my friends. Someone made like stickers of me, show and uh Vienna. So I have those too. Um, someone gifted me art of me, Numi, and Lily. Also, it was not safe for work too. Someone gifted me not safe for work art of the bikini bottoms. Uh, and they laminated it too. So I have to send... I'm gonna... Next time I hang out with Numi, I'll give her one. And then I'll have to mail... I'll have to have Numi mail the Lily's... Lily's art too. It was pretty wild. I just, uh, they like gave it to me in this like super like discreet folder. That's disgusting. Where? <laughs> uh, I, I wonder if they, I wonder if they like, um, I wonder if they uploaded it. It was good though. Laminated so you can take it anywhere. Laminated so I can use it. <laughs> She's really... Oh, the Philippines bow is made by my former classmate. She's a really huge fan of you and I told her that you liked it. Salamat po ate bow. Oh, salamat! Salamat! Thank you, thank you! They uploaded it like yesterday on Twitter. Alright, well... You guys know what to do, I guess. You make me soft. You make me juicy. How, how long have I been streaming? I, I can't... I can't tell. Oh, God damn it! I... You give me last, like the moon. No! I can't tell. What's my uptime? Paula Tora, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you had a lovely stream. Thank you, thank you. About an hour and 40 minutes. Hog. Dude, I, I just, let's see. I love seeing the ocean. The ocean was really cool. I, I didn't, I've never seen such like a bluer ocean. Um, the area where I was, like, it wasn't as blue, but, like, the people that went out to the beaches, like, it was marine blue, like, cerulean blue, like, cyan blue. I didn't know water, ocean could, like, be that color. It's really pretty. Why is your resting heart rate so high? Well, I'm not resting. I'm, like, I'm, like, bouncing my leg and, like, waving my hands around and talking until I'm out of breath. So I'm, I'm definitely not resting. No, I didn't get to go to Boracay. I really wanted to go to the beach though, but we only had realistically one day to do stuff. And by that day, we were super giga tired. Um, yes, I did see the uh, sunset though. It was so super pretty. And I love seeing the water like sparkle against the sunset. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, like all the ships out in the distance. It was very, very pretty. Um, I went to this rooftop party and it overlooked the uh, the bay where all the, the, the port with all the ships and stuff. And uh, there's a swimming pool. It was really funny. It was super hot and it was raining. So everybody was just like muggy and humid as hell. We were all sweating and trying to like enjoy our drinks and our food. And then Sens and Ed couldn't take it anymore and they jumped in the pool 
with their shoes and their shirts on. It was I they're so crazy. I don't know what's wrong with them. They just they just jumped in the pool. I was so shocked. And uh yeah, I I made a joke cuz like they both were wearing um I think like a white t-shirt. And so I was saying like, wow, I guess everybody wearing a white t-shirt has to jump in. And then I looked around at all the boys. Every single boy was wearing a white t-shirt. <laughs> it was like their uniform or something. Why, why? I don't know. All the guys just wore a white t-shirt that day. And they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, I just, I just, I've ate a lot. I ate a lot to the point that when I came back, I just like wasn't hungry anymore. I feel like it's been days and I haven't had an appetite. I think it's just because I ate to my heart's content and now I am just good on food for a while. <laughs> I think it's also jet lag too. I'm just not the, the times where I'm used to eating in the Philippines are like the times where I need to sleep. So I'm not hungry. White tea reflect the sun. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had more Filipino desserts though. I only, I, I only really had like halo halo and um, ube and um, what else? Handan. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I tried a ton of Filipino dishes. I, I talked about it earlier. <laughs> hmm. Have you tried Balut? Yes, I love Balut. I am one of the rare American-born kids that really like Balut. Why did you not mix Holo Holo? Because I'm a disgusting American. <laughs> uh. hmm? What do you guys think Keck wait to? I can't remember. Rare Balut lover. <gasps> Good night, Polly. Thank you for uploading the, all the BBTV emotes for me. Thank you. Thank you for uploading Bao PP. I hate Yoru. Hmm. Now I'm back to my normal, boring life. I can't wait to move. I'm very excited to move again. I think I'm moving like sometime early next year, like spring. And then I think I'll be much happier at home. Where I live right now is super boring and there's nothing. And uh, moving was more so like me just like getting out of my parents' house, which like did wonders for my work ethic. I feel I'm, I'm a very productive person. Like I, I literally went to four conventions in, in the span of like, like, like a month, basically. So that was, that was a test of strength, really. Will I do that again? Probably not. It was a great, it was a great experience though. I do not live in LA, luckily for me. I love the people that live in LA, but I don't know if I would personally live there. I think I care a little bit about my, my respiratory health. <laughs> Great experience. Would never do it again. <laughs> I think the only conventions that I would like set aside time for are Hello. conventions that I am like paid well to go to. And like the ones that like I would probably set aside like Anime Expo or, or TwitchCon. One of the two to just like hang out with all of my friends because uh, I'm, I'm not really one to go to a convention unless like I am, I, I just go for my friends basically. And also, like, if I were to travel. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I made a lot of memories. I made a lot of friends. And uh, that that makes it all worth the, the 48 hours of, <laughs> of flying. <laughs> I loved the airport food, too. It was really good. I had, um... I just had more, more chicken at the... Philippine airport. It was like, I can't remember what it was called. It was like the name of a guy. And I had like a chicken thigh. I had a whole chicken thigh. I had rice and gravy and I had corn. Uh, I had like sweet corn and I had um, like a 
a biscuit, I think, like cornbread. Yeah, it was like I, I bought it like a meal. It was like a meal. Ma Mang ina sal, kuya J. I don't. Uh, it was. It's bit. I don't know. It was like a name. I can't remember. I think it was Kenny Rogers. I think it was Kenny Rogers. Is that? Is that? Is that? Good. LOL. Is that bad? Did I go to the wrong one? Should I have gone somewhere else? <laughs> Everything else was closed. It's okay. It's mid. All those three are good. It's fine. It's good. I'm insecure. I'm insecure about my food choices. I just want... I just want my swagapinos to be proud of me. <laughs> Kenny Rogers is just not Filipino exactly. Oh. I'll have to try Mangina Sol next time. Can't believe that you were at Brainwash by Mall of Asia. <laughs> You're always welcome here. You are always welcome here. You're always welcome here. You're always welcome here. I love Pansit and Lumpia too. I miss I miss rice and gravy. I think that's the one thing I will miss a lot about like Filipino fast food. Just the amount of gravy I got every time. It's just never gonna be the same, I think. I'm I'm a changed person and now it's just now nothing is gonna taste as good. Now I'm gonna like eat fast food chicken and be like, man, I really wish I had some rice and gravy with that. And like nobody's gonna understand what it's like. Like once you've had it, it's like there's a void now. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh yeah, like Hawaiian Hawaiian fusion moko loco. I love loco moko. I uh I used to live somewhere that like had loco moko and I ordered it all the time because it's so like it's so cheap but you get so much food. I used to save a I used to like be very stingy about food cuz like I had to worry about rent and stuff and so I always had moko loco. What about the sweet spaghetti? I was very... I, that's the only thing. I was like... I felt like it was... I just wasn't prepared for a sweet spaghetti. It was still good though. I ate all of it. I was just like, wow, I've never had sweet spaghetti before. It was definitely new. I liked it. Come visit Hawaii. Oh, I would love to one day. But I know like... Uh, I guess like... I don't know. Local Hawaiians. They don't... I think they would they would be upset <laughs> if I you know what I mean I I feel bad being a tourist in Hawaii. Oh fam, thank you so much for the ten gifted. Congratulations, congratulations on uh, your graduation. Don't worry about it. Really, am I allowed to go to Hawaii? I feel like I have to have permission to go to Hawaii. I just I know the history and I know like it's 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 getting worse and I, I feel I would feel bad. <laughs> I don't want to be I don't want to be that tourist, you know. Gotta attend Kauai Con in Honolulu. Oh, is that the one that um uh Demon Dice Demon Dice went to, right? As long as you're respectful, then you're good. Okay, I'll be respectful. Hi, Miss Yuzu! I didn't realize you were still here. That's crazy. Damn. How, uh, I wonder how, how far of a flight that is from America to Hawaii. What's happening in the Hawaii? I mean, it's just normal stuff. Like, uh... Gentrification. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just... I'm just here to vibe. Man. I miss the Philippines now. Now I'm back in... Boring old states. 
Bro, at least I'm not like in in the Midwest. Holy shit, the Midwest was not my favorite place to be. Not not recommended. I think now that like I don't know. Now that I've had a taste of like what the world is like outside of America, I'm just depressed. <laughs> I'm just bored now. I love banana ketchup. Yeah, I've had banana ketchup. I love banana ketchup. I've had it before at a friend. I went to a Filipino friend's um, house party and I had it. I I actually have my own bottle of banana ketchup. It's it's really good. You know when I was little, I used to like. You know how Pikachu in in Pokemon really like ketchup. I I thought that was really cute. So then I tried to be like Pikachu and like always had ketchup for everything. Like I always like I would I would like sip on ketchup packets as a little kid because I wanted to be like Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pika bow. I don't know. I just I just like ketchup. <laughs> Now, now I am a big fan of banana ketchup. I like banana ketchup more than regular ketchup. Because it's sweeter and I could drink it. I could probably just eat like a spoonful of it. I know that sounds really nasty, but I just am a... I'm just a ketchup enjoyer. <laughs> uh, if you haven't tried banana ketchup, you should try it. It's really good. I don't know if this is nasty, but I used to just eat banana ketchup with boiled eggs. I don't know why. Like, my friend did it. My friend ate it with, like, rice and boiled egg. And I... <laughs> and now... And now I'm changed. Now I'm hungry as fuck. Oh, that's normal? For real? Oh, sheesh. Thank God. Alright. Good. I didn't know that was normal or not. Thank you, Val. It was really fun to meet you on Conquest. I'm glad... I made you laugh when you signed my grad pic. By the way, I uploaded it on my Twitter. Aw, thanks, Ram. I'll check it out a little bit. That was normal eggs and ketchup. I'm gonna try it now. Fuck, I'm so hungry. Fuck, you guys. I haven't eaten all day. I need to eat, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go downstairs and just like... Go eat. Oh, but that, that means I gotta go. Homies. Well, it, I guess it's my fault for playing Fall Guys for three hours with Numi. And and now I, I went straight into streaming for another two hours. I'm so hungry. Fuck. What should I eat? I have um what should I eat? I don't I don't know what the fuck to eat. Yeah, I, I probably m I might have to end stream. I don't think I can do another five hour stream. I could do that tomorrow, but maybe not tonight. Uh, let's see. I have. Ooh, I think I'm just gonna have chicken ramen. Like, uh, Maruchan ramen. Holy shit, I eat like a college student. This is so bad. <laughs> I just haven't gone grocery shopping. I've been so busy ever since I got back home. I haven't gone grocery shopping. I swear I'll eat more healthy later. I had a protein shake. I had a protein shake. That's not good either. I'm a terrible, terrible example. Just put in an egg. True. I think I will just put in an egg. <laughs> Instant ramen plus egg. Sheesh. <laughs> I know. It's so bad. I've just been so busy. And then my sleep schedule's fucked. Where's Panko? He's just sleeping. Baby. Let's see. Alright, well yeah, those are my conquest stories. Rate, rate today's stream on a scale of 1 to 10. I, I gotta know. Tomorrow, I'll show pictures and then we'll play more Elden Ring. But, uh, that's all I have for today. Unhinged out of 10. <laughs> okay, that's all that matters. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Even though we're just chatting. I didn't really like 
plan too much today, so I really apologize for that. But tomorrow, I'll I'll show you guys pictures. Hi, Raven. I'm glad you had fun. Thank you. I had tons and tons of fun. I'm really happy that I got to go. I'm really glad I said yes, too. It's, it was a bit of like a chance I had to take, but it ended up being really good and an amazing experience. So I'm, I'm glad I went. Brrr. Now I will raid um 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 Let's raid Miss Gumi. Miss Gumi Ho. I've never raided Miss Gumi before. I hope she has a having a nice stream. I think she's just playing some comfy Minecraft, so I think you guys would enjoy the vibes over there. Thank you guys. I love you all. I love you all, Mabuhai, Mabuhai. I love you. I love you. Salamat. Mabuhai. Salamat. Putanginamo. Kantutan. Gago. Um. What else do I know? Gago. Buiset. Um, uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh, Jabol, 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 Peck, Peck, uh, Pookie, Pookie, Pista. Um, what else? What else? What else? Quick, quick, what, what other word? Bakla knew me. Baho, Bogo, Pisti, Yawa, Bogo, Bakla. Bobo, Gago, Buiset, uh, Bayo, Lintik, Lintik, Kayo! <laughs> I'm going to jail! <laughs> <laughs>